So what I'm gonna do is I got the Red Cat Thunder Drift here. Now, this is a four wheel drive drift car. And uh, what I did is I removed this, which is the belt to the front. So now these tires, they don't turn independently because I have the, the spur gear in, uh, everything still in there, but, uh, and it's connected, got a drive shaft connected and all. So tires turn together, but now it's just rear wheel drive. And this is just a test. So in order to do this. What I first did was, on the bottom, I removed this one and this one, the front two to there. What that does is allow you for when you get the shocks, these four screws here, and these two there removed. Which, by the way, all of those that I just showed you, two, four, eight, ten screws are all Uh, 2.5 hex heads that allows you to remove this then you can pull the gear out to remove the belt off then you take set screw and set screw out you shift it towards the driver's side and then there's a pin, which I have a little clip to show you there about that. So, when you're taking this off, off this shaft here, there's a, a little screw, set screw, that goes in there. And there's a little set screw on this one. But as you see right here, see that pin once you get everything loose i took the biggest hex head that i got which is a 3.0 on the long shafts there and i pushed on the inside of this to push that back to get this pin to come out of this because not only does this uh have a a, a lock screw on it it's got this pin, but also notice that there is a flat spot right here. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me try to turn it. You can see it right there. Right there is a flat part to the, the shaft for you to lock them set screws on. Now, when you pull that apart, be careful because there is two bearings. There's a bearing on the outside here and a bearing over here. And as you can see, only the C-clip holds it in on this side. Then when you slide the pin through, you can pull this out, take the belt off, then slide it back through and reassemble. But I'll, give, I'll be giving it some test driving tomorrow because tonight, today it's already dark. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see how the Red Cat does for a two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, which makes it more authentic drift car. All right, y'all. I uh, hope y'all liked. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Peace out.